Hello and welcome to our live stream today for October 28th. It is almost Halloween. I think it's coming up around the bend here. If you're watching this recorded, yes, Halloween is coming up. My name is Doug Schrift. I'm a physical therapist and senior fitness coach, and I help seniors become strong and stable even if they've never exercised before. Welcome to our live stream. What are we doing today? We are going to do a 30 minute core workout. Are you guys ready? We'll get started here in a second. And let's see, we have uh, today is brought to you by Eldergen Academy right here. Eldergen Academy is, is my online academy. We have lots of seniors. We have lots of exercises and a lot of fun. And we have, uh, have our guest instructor, Instructor Lee. We have our live streams where we have guests and we chat. We just did one this morning. And I have different exercise programs. We have easy, we have medium and more difficult classes. So you can pick your classes, whatever you like. Uh, all in the academy, we have different I wear different shirts for the different levels of activity we have. So definitely stop by Eldigen Academy. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. Let's get to today's little exercise program. <clears throat> I am the chief cook and bottle washer here. So I have to do the lights, the sounds, and I actually have to do my camera work. So I'm going to switch my uh, webcam to my room webcam, a little wider view there. And this is where I do our Elgin Academy workouts. It's a little better view. It's, I don't have a webcam, but this will work for our live stream. And hopefully everyone can hear me. <clears throat> Let me head over to my here and I'm going to turn on my clock. And we're going to get started with a little core work. So you're going to need a uh, weight. I have an eight pound weight here that'll work pretty good and a chair. So let's start warming up with a little bit of marking. So glad you guys are here today joining us for our little senior 30 minute core workout. We won't be on the floor. I do do some exercises where we get on the floor for some mat work but today. I'll adapt them and we'll use the chair so you won't have to get down on the floor. Start moving our arms a little bit. Breathe. There we go. And breathe. Ribs are lifted. Chin is up. Let's see if we can lift our heel and our hands up to the ceiling at the same time. Just like that. Do a little bounce in there. We're warming up because we want to get the muscles a little bit warmer. We want the blood to flow through the muscles a little better. And we want the joints to be a little lubricated with all that joint fluid. If we warm up the joint fluid, it's a lot better. Here we go. Lift it up. Three, two, one. All right, let's see if we can do the hula. I'm just going to Rotate that hip around, just like that. I'm not very good at the hula. I've never been to Hawaii, but I know they twirl their hips around, kind of like that, and they have very loose hips. Here we go. Around and around. Good. Well, let's see if we can just bring our arms and loosen up that upper body. I'm just going to swing my arms back and forth. Loosening up my back, listening to all those pops and cracks. There we go. Loosen it up and just gradually go a little bit farther until you start looking over your shoulder. 
There we go. Ooh, I'm loosening up now. Let's try our neck. Just turn side to side. Swivel your head around. That's it. Loosen it up. Breathe. Good. I want you to grab a rope right in front of you and pull it back in like you're in the Navy. There we go. Just warming up that body. You guys are doing great. We're going to focus on a little bit of torso, a little bit of core work today. I know you're going to love it. Pull that rope in. Pull it in. Good. Breathe. Fill your lungs, try to get that air down to the bottom of your lungs. Here we go. Let's see if we can reach side to side, just like that. Reaching side to side. Breathe. Waking up here, nice and early here in Arizona. There we go. Reach side to side. The weather is cooling down which means you have to warm up a little bit more. Here we go. Breathe side to side. All right, let's see if we can interlace your fingers together just like that. And just kind of lift them up in the air. Breathe, loosen up the arms. Breathe, loosen them up just like that. Let's try three, two, one, good. Now roll the arms around and breathe. You guys got it. Here we go. Breathe. Other way. That's it. I just did a just did a arm workout two days ago and I'm still a little bit sore. I can kind of feel it. Do this, good. Little cat and camel, arms, hands on your knees, and arch, and relax that back. Arch, and relax, good. One more time, all the way up. Stretch down, stretch, stretch, stretch. Really arch that back. Come all the way down, and relax. That was five minutes. Let's get started with our workout. Actually, we're going to continue with our cat and camel. I'm going to use the chair for our cat and camel. So grab your chair. These folding chairs work great. Hold on to the seat just like that. Now what we're going to do is arch our back, kind of like what we did in the warm-up. This time we're holding onto the chair. Step back a little bit further. Now I'm going to lift my head up. And I'm going to try to arch in the other direction. And this is a wonderful back stretch and strengthener and core strengthener. While you're doing this, make sure your core is tight. We really want to think about our core today. Pinning that belly button to our spine. Here we go. One more time. All the way up. And all the way down. We're going to do 10 exercises twice. We'll do each one for about a minute. And that'll be a good 20 minutes. Let's do our bird dog. So keep the chair in the same area there. Hold on to that chair just like you did with your cat and camel. Now what I'm going to do is lift up my opposite arm and leg, pause, and then come back. Just like that. Now think about your core. Keep it nice and tight. We're working arms and legs. And our arms and legs, they're kind of disrupting our balance and our core. So the idea here is to keep your back and your hips as still as you can. Let's do one more on each side. Keep them nice and still. And really strengthen them up and down. Excellent job. What do we got next? Ooh, the dead bug. Usually we do this one on the floor, but let's try it on the chair here. I'm going to sit on the edge of the chair, kind of like I'm falling asleep, bring my legs out, hold my arms up, and what I'm going to do is 
just touch my toes with my hands back and forth, just like that. There we go. Think about your core. Breathe. Tighten up the belly button to spine. And just reach. I'm touching the inside of my big toe right there. There we go. Ten seconds. You guys got it. Breathe. Back and forth. There we go. Three, two, one. And relax. Let's try, uh, ooh, let's try our little knee lifts. So same position. I'm going to get on the edge of the chair. I'm holding onto the chair. I'm going to lift up one knee, lift up the other, and I'm going to pause. Ooh. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And down. Let's try it again. Lift up one knee, lift up the other. Hold it right there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Breathe and down. If you can't hold your knee up there, just lift one knee up and the other. There we go. One and the other. And hold it. And down. Good. Breathe. Lift one knee up. Lift your other. Hold it up there. Tight core. And down. One knee up. The other. Hold. And down. Last time. Here we go. Lift one knee up. Lift up the other. Hold and relax. That is tough on the core. Hey, let's try a plank. Now for a plank, you can do these on the ground, but you can also do them on the chair. Hold on to the seat of your chair. Bring your feet back as far as you can. Straighten out your body into a plank position. Bring your bottom down. Shoulders are over your wrists. This is a high plank. You're just going to hold it right there. Think about your core, tighten it up, and breathe. Try to keep your head in line with your spine. We don't want our shoulders up too high or down too low. Try to keep them right in the middle if you can. Bottom is down. Hold 10 seconds. Here we go. You got it. Hold it right there. Hold it there. You guys are doing great. And three, two, one, relax. Uh, we're, or we are going to do, it's a press-up, but since we can't get down on the ground, I'm going to try this one standing up. My feet are about hip width apart. My, my ribs are lifted. I'm going to bring my arms down straight ahead here. I'm going to lean over toward my toes. And I'm going to reach up now, trying to touch every degree in the half of the arc, all the way up until my fingers are pointing to the ceiling and even bring them back a little bit and I'm going to reverse. Tight core, touch all the degrees on that arch and down. And repeat again. Here we go. Reach out. Nice and high. And reach out. And then down to the ground. Good. It's okay to round out that back. If you have some back pain with this, you can see if you can modify it a little bit by not reaching out as far or not bending down as far. Reach up, last time up, and relax. All right, let's try a let's try a prisoner knee touch. So bring your hands up into the prisoner position. Now what I'm going to do is touch my opposite elbow to my opposite knee, just like that. Bring it up. Bring it up. If you can't quite touch your elbow to your knee, just bring it up as high as you can, like that. Now while you're doing these, think of your core. Every time you bring that knee up, feel that crunch. Just pull it in. Tighten it up. Good. Tighten it up. Be nice and tight. Let's do one more on each side. Pull and relax. Roll the shoulders around. All right, we're going to do some toe touches. Get this chair out of the way. So this is what it looks like from the side. I'm going to kick my foot forward and bring my opposite hand and touch my opposite toe if I can. 
just like that, yeah. And the idea with this is every time you bring that leg up, do a little crunch, crunch, crunch. Pull that tummy in, really working that core. Here we go. Crunch, crunch, there we go. Hang in there, guys. Working that core. And crunch, crunch, less than 10 seconds. Pull it up. And three, two, one, relax. Oh boy, I think you're feeling the core. I certainly am. Let's try, well, let's try a side one. So now you're gonna need your weight. If you don't have a weight, just use the weight of your arms. I'm gonna hold about an eight pound weight here. One arm up behind my head. What we're gonna do is have our feet about hip width apart. I'm gonna lower that weight and raise it up and bring that elbow down to the other side, just like that. Breathe. Good. Breathe. We'll do the other side in 10 minutes because we're going to repeat these 10 exercises. We have one more to do after this. Here we go. Less than 10 seconds. Just lower that weight and raise the weight. Last one. And relax. All right. Hold on to that weight. Just like that, we're gonna do some rotations. So I'm, I'm gonna bring my feet about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna hold that weight about halfway away from my body. And I'm gonna rotate back and forth, focusing on my core, keeping it nice and tight, pull it in, belly button to spine, breathe. Good, ribs are lifted. You guys are doing great. This is a wonderful senior core workout here. It's so important to have a good core because guess what our core is? Our core is our torso. And guess what comes out of the torso? Our arms and legs. So it's nice to have a good stable torso. And three, two, one. We are halfway done. Here we go. Let's go back to our exercise number one, which is our cat and the camel. Get your chair, put your chair right there in your exercise space. Hold on to the seat of your chair. Take the comfortable step back. Arch your back, bring your chin to chest. Lift your head up and relax your back. Arch your back, chin to chest. Relax, bring your head up. Think about your core, keep it nice and tight while you're doing these exercises. Belly button to spine, nice and tight, you guys are doing it. 10 seconds left, breathe, up and down. Last one, here we go, up and down. Take out those shoulders. Time for the bird dog. Same position. Hold on to that chair. Take a nice comfortable step back. We're going to lift our alternating arm and leg. Just like that. Now while you're doing alternating arms and legs, think about keeping your torso as still as you can so that it really strengthens up. As you go side to side here, you're going to feel your body move side to side, being pulled side to side as we destabilize ourselves by lifting our arms up. Nice and controlled, tight core, keep breathing. One more on each side. And relax. Excellent job, guys. Let's do uh, let's do our uh, touches. We're gonna sit when we get to the chair. We're gonna do our toe touches. Lean back like you're falling asleep. Arms come out, and I'm just gonna touch the inside 
my big toe, just like that. There we go. Breathe. Now think about your core while you're doing this, because that's what this workout is, core. Tighten that core up. Breathe. Dump up the spine nice and tight. You want a nice trim waistline. Here we go. Just like Jack LaLanne was famous for his nice tight waistline. Line. Here we go. One more on each side. And relax. All right, let's try our knee lifts. On the same position, on the edge of the chair. Ribs are lifted. We're going to lift one knee up, lift the other. Hold and down. Lift one knee, lift the other, hold and down. If you can't hold, then just keep alternating with your knee lifts. But if you can, lift one knee up, lift the other, hold and down. Think about your core, nice and tight. And down. Good. Breathe. Breathe. One knee up, the other, hold, and down. One knee up, the other, hold, and down. Two more, here we go. One. Last one, one knee up, the other, hold, and down. Let's try our plank again. So we have our chair. We're gonna get into the high plank position on that chair. I'm gonna hold on to the seat. I'm going to bring my feet back as far as I can. I'm going to bring my bottom down. My shoulders are right over my wrists. You don't want to be too slouched or too high. I get right in the middle. This is stabilizing our shoulders, our core. Wonderful exercise to really stabilize your torso, upper back. Good. Breathe. Here we go. It is in line with your spine. That's it, guys. Ten more seconds. Hold it in there. Keep that bottom down. Good. Here we go. In three, two, one. Relax. All right. So take your arms in the diver's position. Like that. Bring them up all the way overhead. Now I'll reach out in front of you. Nice tight core, and come all the way down as far as you can, and then back up again. Now, if this is hurting your back, then you can modify it by just not leaning forward and leaning over like that with a nice tight core. There we go. If you can, reach out a little bit with a nice flat back, and then back around as we come down to the bottom. Lift your fingers up. This is really working our back and our core. Nice and tight. All the way down. Last one. Here we go. All the way up. And relax. All right. We have our ooh, elbow to knee. Bring the chair out of there. So bring your hands up into the prisoner position. Lightly behind your head. Don't pull your head. We're going to bring elbow to knee, just like that. Your fingers are loose behind your head. Good. Bring one knee up and then the other. And think of that core when you're bringing those knees down. Nice and tight. 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 Loose fingers. I want you to keep a grapefruit, an imaginary grapefruit, between your chin and your chest. Like you're holding on to a grapefruit so your chin does not come to your chest keep that grapefruit in between your chin and your chest less than 10 seconds here we go crunch 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 two more and relax Ooh, roll your shoulders around we are getting close to the end here guys let's do our toe touches sideways this is what it looks like Bring one toe up and the other, alternating with your arms and your legs. 
Try to touch your toe if you can. If you can't touch your toe, just get as far as you can out there and just swing that foot up nice and high. Good, breathe. That's it. Now, every time you bring that foot up, crunch your core. Just really pull it in actively. Pull all your muscles in because we want to work that core. Here we go. 10 seconds. You guys got it. Heading towards the end here. Crunch, 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 crunch. One more on each side. This one, two, relax. Roll the shoulders around. Two more exercises. Here we go. Grab your weight. Hold on to that weight with one hand. Let's try the other side this time. Bring your other hand up and the, touch the back of your head. I'm going to lower and raise that weight in the sideways direction, working my side muscles. Here we go. Breathe. Concentrate on that core. Think about your side muscles. They're really working on that right now. Pulling back and forth. Just lowering and raising that weight on the side. There we go. 10 seconds. You got it. One more exercise after this. In three, two, one. Last exercise. Here we go. Hold on to that weight. I say about halfway away from your body. Feet are shoulder width apart. I'm going to rotate my upper body, holding on to that weight in front of me. Just like that. Raise your elbows a little bit. Now think about your core as you're doing this. Just holding you up. This is a strength move. And your core is holding you up. You want a nice strong core. Excellent job. Just kind of feel that. Bring your mind right down to that core. Just feel those muscles pulling in, pulling in. Just like an accordion. Push out and push out. Good. There we go. Let's try three more. There's one, two, three. You are done. Excellent job with our, uh, that's 20 minutes of actual core work. Now we're going to do a five minute cool down. So here we are. Feet are about hip width apart. Take a breath in. All the way up and down. Excellent job strengthening that core, guys. All the way up. Now drop your left arm down. Stretch out that left side. Reach up towards the ceiling and to the side. Breathe. There we go. Breathe. And back. Breath in. All the way up. Now let's stretch out the other side. There we go. Oh boy, I can feel that stretch all over there. Less than 10 seconds. Hold it there. And three, two, one. Relax. Roll your shoulders around. Let's work on the shoulder here. Left arm, palm up. Touch yourself on the back. Scoop up that elbow and just bring it back just like that. Nice stretch for that shoulder. Now reach across your body and pull it back again. And loosen up your wrist a little bit. And breathe. Excellent job on our core workout. Let's try the other side. Bring that hand palm up. Touch yourself on the shoulder. Scoop up that elbow with your other arm. Hold it up there. Breathe. That's it. Stretch out that shoulder. Now reach across your body and pull it in. Stretching out the back part of your shoulder and just flop that wrist around, loosen it up a little bit. Excellent. And three, two, one, relax. Hands on your hip. I want you to look over your left shoulder. Try to keep your hips pointing forward. Rotate that upper body as much as you can, looking over your shoulder. Breathe, and 
back. Let's try the other side. Look over your other shoulder. Breathe, rotating that torso, and back to center. Now look up, now we'll do a farmer stretch. Bring your shoulders back, breathe, good. And down one more time on each side, look left. Rotate that torso. And last time, look the other way. Good. And relax. I want you to extend your left leg out right on your heel. Bring your toes back toward your body. Now hinge from the hips and lean towards that toe. Just like that. Stretching out your hamstrings and your calf. Breathe. And keep that core tight while we're doing this here. Here we go. Feel that stretch. Let's try the other side. Extend your right foot out right on the heel. Bring your toes back toward your body. Flex from the hips toward your toe. Really feeling that stretch in your hamstring and your calf. Nice stretch for this one here. 10 more seconds. You've got it. Stretching out that whole posterior chain there. And three, two, one, we're going to head over to the wall because we're going to do our quadricep. I'm holding onto the wall. If you have a chair, hold onto your chair. If you can, grab your ankle and allow your knee to point downward toward the floor, really stretching out that hip. Hip flexibility, my quad is one of my weak areas, so I always need to stretch out my quad, just like that. Let's try the other side. Grab your other ankle, and let that knee float towards the floor. Breathe. Feel that stretch in the front of your thigh. Just like that, good. 10 seconds. You guys got it. Breathe. Three, two, one. You guys are done. You did 30 minutes of core exercise. Let me head back to my monitor here. And I'm going to switch my monitor back to me. There I am. Yay. Excellent job on that core exercise. Uh, let's see, let's check in from our peanut gallery. Oh, he has Les. Hello from Meister, England, UK. Stay safe. Well, thank you, Les. And we have Sarah. Hello from Maine. I love Maine. I haven't been there in many years. And Lynn, hello, late. It's only 8.30 here. Thanks for joining us, Lynn. And, uh, oh, Sandra's here. Sunny day in Toronto. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra is part of our Elder Gym Academy. So I just want to remind everybody that we are brought to you today by Elder Gym Academy. If you can come up to the Academy, the link's below and check us out. We have over 600 exercises, lots of fun, lots of seniors. And I do this type of exercising with everybody. We have three different levels from chair to standing to floor work. We do a lot of stuff. It's a lot of fun. So come check us out. Uh, that's pretty much it. Ooh, Storm's here. Storm, thanks for joining us this week. Appreciate it. From Tennessee. Oh, I love Tennessee. Uh, actually, my car broke down in Chattanooga, but uh, I did get it fixed, so uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today. And I think this is the last one I'm doing this month. I'm going to start some in uh, December. I'm going to do a little holiday, uh, get fit for the holidays. So I... Uh, Stay tuned for December, and I think we'll do probably three a week and just get ready for the holidays throughout December. We'll do a little bit of upper body, a little bit of lower body, and just get in shape. Well, thanks a lot, everybody, for joining us, and uh, I'll see you either in the Academy or I'll see you on more of our YouTube channel or stop by 
in uh, December and we'll do a little Christmas holiday uh, fitness program. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot, guys. And we will see you next time. Thank you.